Hi everyone, my name is Becca with Wax Hair Removal Bar. Today I'm going to show you how to use your at-home waxing kit. So there will be a couple things that you get in your package if you've ordered one of these from us. They can be found on our website, waxhairremovalbar.com forward slash shop. And if you look there, it's called at home waxing kit in brackets, it has hard wax because you are getting our professional wax for the hard wax. Normally we don't sell this to clients like you. We only sell to other licensed professionals, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So you're gonna plug it in, but you do wanna be careful because this wax does not need to be very runny for it to work. It is a low temperature synthetic resin wax. So what that means is that it's really easy to use, which is why we felt comfortable letting you guys use this at home right now. So what you're looking for is the consistency of molasses or honey, runny like honey, but you don't want it any more with any much more movement than that. If you move your stick around in it and you pull some wax up like a little bulb on the end of the stick, you want it to move, but you don't want it to be dripping off of the stick. That'll be too much. And that's fine if you do that. I did that my first time, which is why I'm making this video so you guys don't make the same mistake as me. But all you're gonna do is unplug the system or just switch it off on the little switch. Give it some time to cool down and harden. What happens if the wax is too hot, it'll still apply the same. It will pull some hairs out, but instead of coming off in a nice clean pull, like it's great because it's kind of like an orange peel. Sometimes you can get the whole piece off all at once. But if it's too hot, when you try to pull that strip off, it's going to go like chewing gum and it's it's not going to be as satisfying and it'll be a little bit frustrating to try to get it off of your skin. And it's not going to grab all of the hairs as much as it would when you apply it properly. So I'll show you what that means in just a moment and exactly what kind of consistency you're looking for, temperature, how to put it on the stick, how to apply it on the skin. Now we've all seen Karate Kids, so we know wax on, wax off, right? And I'm sure you know the saying, you apply with the hair growth and you pull against. That's mostly true, mostly for soft wax. We're using hard wax today, so it is a little bit different. It's more forgiving. So with this wax, what you can do is you can apply it any direction um, based on the hair growth. You can apply it with the grain, you can apply it against the grain, you can pull it with the grain, you can pull it against the grain. It's gonna grab some of the hairs every single time. If you have stubborn hairs or an area where hairs grow in all different directions, like your underarms, for example, then you may need to go over the area a couple of times in different directions to grab every single hair. But it will grab the hairs. Worried that you are gonna spill, um, or if you're waxing a teenager that you have at home or somebody that you live with, and you want to protect the area you're working on, I suggest doing it on a bathroom counter or anywhere there's a plug and you have a, a flat workbench. Um, use some parchment paper on that surface and that will protect your countertops or, you know, put a towel down and then a parchment paper sheet. So I'm going to take you into my bathroom. Never thought I'd say that. I'll show you how it's going to be super easy. So mine has been plugged in for a little over 10 minutes right now and this is the perfect consistency that you'd be looking for. So that middle bit is still hard, which is fine because I just added that in today. But you can see the outside is runny. And you're going to pick it up and twirl it around. And you can see it's still moving on the stick there. But it takes a little bit for it to start to fall off. So it's not totally runny. It's more like honey here. A little bit more runny than molasses. In between honey and molasses is what you're looking for. So it has a bit of movement, but it's not totally falling off of the stick. So as soon as you've got it like that, you can take it off of the heat and set it aside. Otherwise it will keep melting. These are not temperature regulated. Uh, it's not a temperature regulated system by any means. So take it off and then that is where you use the wax. Okay, and as far as picking up the wax, you're gonna scoop up a little bit like peanut butter and then twirl. And twirling it just helps it cool off a little bit in the air before you apply it to the skin. And it also makes sure that that little bulb oh, on the end there stays on the stick because that is what you're looking for. And you can see here I've got a towel on my counter as well as some parchment paper. So that is perfect. I'm just going to do a little bit on my arm to show you application. So application, I like to hold it like this. Put your thumb on the back and kind of angle your stick towards the back. It'll make it much easier to apply. So 
So you're applying it like butter and on the end there, you're gonna twist and round and come back up. Okay, and we'll do that again. And you can double dip with your sticks because I'm assuming you're only doing this on yourself or maybe someone you live with. So here, put it down, lean your stick back, spread and loop. And what that loop is doing is it's creating what we call a lip. So that just gives you a little bit of something to peel up when it's dry to pull it off. So to feel if it's dry, you're just gonna tap and that is dry, it dries really quickly. You can see it's not sticking to my finger, whereas if I tap over here, it's still sticky like chewing gum. So to pull it up, you can tap it and press it into your skin a couple times and it will lift up on its own. If it's not doing that, you can pick at it a little bit, but that will hurt more if there's hair growing in this area. So press it into the skin and it will come up on its own. Brace with your thumb or your knuckles if it's a large area and you're swinging this way and pull. And if that happens, this is moldable and pliable. Just mold it back together. I did it a bit thin on that arm. Pull it up. If you have some wax bits left over, use the shiny side of your wax, not the matte side. The shiny side to shiny side will pick it back up. Okay, and then over here, same thing. If you did not get that lip properly, you can use a piece of wax before, fold it together so you have a shiny side on the outside and stick them together and then that can be your lip. Brace with your thumb or your knuckles and pull. Okay, 